<laughs> Please welcome Tony Braxton. <laughs> You just inspire that whenever you come out, Tony. The love. I love it. Thank you guys for the love. I appreciate it more than you know. <laughs> okay, here first up, we we're the same height. Yes, we are. But I heard that you don't like being short. What? I hate it. I have height envy. Like right now, my feet don't touch the floor, <laughs> and I'm, I'm trying. I may sit closer to the edge. That's better. But girl, we're short. We get all the tall men. We do, and, and we don't... age slower. We do because we're short. Okay, yes. so the age, yes. <laughs> I like that. Yeah, you say, I'm like saying that. it, I'm sticking no, with no, it. No, exactly. I'm 55 years old. Look at you. Wow. That's it. 50 and fine. Right? Well, let me gorgeous. tell you something, girl. Yeah. And gorgeous. Being short has not stopped you from breaking the internet. I, with this photo, I saw this photo and lost my mind. Wow. <laughs> okay, you. Broke the internet. I, you know, when you, you was on the shade room, you were everywhere. <laughs> I, I have to ask you, Tony. Yeah. Like, have you ever had any kind of belly fat, any kind of body fat, any kind of fat, fat, fat I anywhere? Do I can be skinny thick? You What's know? skinny thick? Like those thighs. My thighs sometimes uh, get out and want to say hi. Yeah. What yeah. were you thinking about when you had when you put that on? You know, I was feeling myself that day. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, it look good. Thank you, thank you. Then what was you looking at? What were you just like looking at? I was just like, you know, let me just give it a little 50s, let them know how 50 can really look. That's what I'm yeah. talking about. Yeah. <laughs> Tony, I remember your album. It's been 30 years. Yes. 30 years. I didn't even know that. Girl, you didn't know? Oh, no. You were completely underwear. 30 years know. since this came out. This wow. was my like my theme song for life it when you came was. out. Yeah. Thank you. I can't believe I've been in a business this long. I've been so blessed. I've been so fortunate. I can't believe it. Girl, wow. this, you know, and it's because I remember, I, and I know exactly to the day I lived oh, be, in the Crenshaw district behind the uh, mall, and I would walk. I would do my walking, and I would cry when I heard, oh, you know what? Oh, that's, oh, it. That's, oh, it. that's it. That was doing my sideburn here. That, you, this was, did y'all, this sound right here was it. Yeah. <laughs> this hair? Yeah. You came Indeed. out, girl, and I mean, it, like, you, it's, you're known for these sad love songs, but your love songs actually have saved relationships. You know they have, which is, I love that. You know what, I have to tell you the story. This yes. is a true story. Yes, yes. Okay, this guy, this billionaire guy, called uh -huh. my agent and was like, I need for Tony Braxton to come and do a private show, just a private show, me and my girl. My really? agent called, do you want to, I'm like, okay, where is he? He's like, Italy, yes, I'm gonna go. Okay. And apparently they broke up. He did something bad. Uh -huh. And he wanted me to sing on Break My Heart just to the two of them. Really? Yes. Can you sing on Break My Heart? Just one song. Sing it to my girl. And she forgave him. Really? Yes. He oh got on his knee and they got engaged later. But it was like this beautiful story. He had to do everything to get out the doghouse. That is so yeah. crazy. I and know. he sang, you sang on Break just My Heart. That one song on Break My girl, Heart. Girl, yeah. that was the jam. The, yeah. <laughs> Cause that was the one I remember I had broke up with my guy, and I, that's the song I sang like 24/7. Unbreak my right? heart. Right, makes Ugh. me sad too. Girl. Me in all this pain. <laughs> <laughs> okay, now I'm not gonna do my drunk karaoke. <laughs> Don't leave me in the rain. <laughs> Wait, wait, do they, wait, let me ask you guys, do you know Sherry got some rhythm? Sherry can dance. Yeah. No, no, no. It's, it's yes. a little bit. No, she came up on stage with me one day. Remember? You did, you brought me on stage. Yes, I was singing Man Enough, Enough for Me. And I came and danced And she with did you. the whole shimmy, shimmy dance, the whole thing. <laughs> 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 da, 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 da. Yes. I was okay. I was trying to distract because I couldn't <laughs> sing. I was just but like, you were dancing. <laughs> so we gonna go, we gonna go karaoke and we gonna go yes, dancing, Tony. That's what we gonna do. You and me. Now, I have to say, because um, this makes me sad, this it has been a year since your sister's, uh, yeah. sister Tracy, since she passed away. Yeah. And we miss her so much. Miss we miss the sass, just, you know, everything that yeah. she brought from watching her um, Braxton family values. Yeah. Do you miss doing the show? You know, the irony of it, I hated doing the show. Really? I didn't really like reality TV, uh, participating in it. I mm -hmm. love watching it. Yeah. Um, but the great, the blessing of it, the silver lining is I got 10 years 
uh, memories with my sister Tracy and all of yes. us together. So it was worth it. It was worth it. It's funny because I got Tracy's album. I remember you got she Tracy's gave me, album. She was sitting exactly, on the motorcycle. Uh -huh. Exactly. I got that I album. I was very proud of her. Very I, proud. Now, so you guys, y'all would argue on Braxton Family Values. Mm -hmm. Then you made up very quickly. Very quickly. Yeah. My mama wasn't having it. <laughs> yeah, Missy wasn't having it. So, and everybody on your family, because I remember watching all of y'all yeah. doing everything on the show. And now Tamar. We've been watching Tamar. Tamar just got engaged. She, she was did. on a dating show. Okay, now I know how we reacted. Yes. How did you react when you found out she was well, engaged? She called, told me, Tony, I'm engaged. Yeah. To who? To be what? <laughs> to do what? You're engaged to do what? Uh -huh. And she said, no, I got a guy. Girl, you're going to love him. Really? Yes, JR, oh. yeah. So JR. So JR is her guy. And I was like, can I see a picture? No, I'm going to surprise you. So I got to meet him. He's a great guy. Really? Really a nice guy. Are you going to be in the wedding? I don't know what they're doing yet. I think they might elope. Oh! oh I you think, think they so. Might I think they might elope. Oh, okay. Yeah. You think she might ask you to sing? She don't want me to sing. She don't want you to sing. <laughs> she gonna have one, 21 Savage, 21, 21. Or somebody uh -huh. like, you know, Tamar be twerking and stuff. I know. You know. <laughs> <laughs> now, you know, it's so funny because you talk about twerking, it, 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 which you have not done. You grew up in a very strict religious household, yeah. like me, and I mean, yes. couldn't do anything. So, like, d now, how do you, are you, are you getting to do anything now? Uh, you know, I, got, I had to privately sow my wild oaks. Okay, because you couldn't yeah, do it back then when you were... do it back then, and it's not hot to do in your 50s. That's not a good look. Okay. <laughs> you know what I mean? So when you're young, it's okay. That's when you're supposed to do it. You know, but the you 20s, you out there. The 30s, you try to evaluate it. The 40s, you pay for the therapy. And at the 50s, you're like, okay, I'm good. Because your daddy was a pastor, my yes? daddy is a minister, United <laughs> Methodist. Apostolic originally, but then United Methodist in the end. So you weren't able to do anything Nothing. growing up? Nothing. You had to pray and talk to God before I went to my high school prom. Uh-huh. You had to talk about it and pray and meditate, and I was allowed to go to my high school prom. I remember that was a big deal. Okay, see, I couldn't go to my prom, so now that you... <laughs> okay, but now, are you getting a party and have more sex? <laughs> well, I'm not a girl that talks, tell, you know, Work, I should say work and talk. Okay, you were okay, so you can't say because I know yeah. at this age I couldn't do it when I was younger. I'm no, like I'm getting it all in now. Girl. At all. I was a late bloomer. You was late. I was a late bloomer. It ain't too late. We didn't talk. You know what I'm saying? We can be later. freaky as we want we'll now. Talk off the air. Okay, we'll talk off the air. You know, at this point, here I'm gonna tell you this. At this point, you know, at this age, I, you really think God care if we a hoe? I don't That's think what he care. Right? Right? <laughs> <laughs> Speak for God in the angels, I'm just going, you know. Something. You got a lot of other stuff to worry about. Exactly. But, oh, my goodness. <laughs> so I love it because it, this is... Uh, <laughs> you got to come back on the show, Tony. Yes. It oh is Lupus Awareness yes, Month. it is. And you were diagnosed at 15... Uh, was it 15, 15 years, years ago? Yeah. You were diagnosed yeah. with lupus. Yeah. So can you tell us about the Get Uncomfortable campaign? Yes, I'm really excited to be partnering with Arenia for Get Uncomfortable because there's so many things I have to tell you guys and talk about, about lupus lupus and lupus yeah. arthritis and your kidney health. Very, mm. very, very important to talk okay. about. Um, I had a little scare about six months ago. Right. I get emotional talking about it. Every single time I got to get past it. Um, yeah. Having lupus is, affects a lot of your vital organs. Mm -hmm. um, my, you're starting to affect my kidneys. Uh, it can affect any organ in your body. And during this time, it was affecting my heart. And I remember going to the doctors, didn't want to go to the doctors, and I'm going to talk about that in a minute. I didn't want to go. Doctor made a test. I didn't want to do the test. Eh, right. yeah, I'll go later, because it's a pandemic. So mm -hmm. finally I went, and come to find out, um, I had to have a coronary stent put in. Really? I had something, uh, I would have had a massive heart attack, and I would not have survived. If you had not gotten If I had out. not gotten that test, like immediately, they did surgery immediately. Uh, the osteal left coronary artery, the main artery, was 80 plus percent blocked. Really? Yes. Yeah. And you didn't know anything? I had no idea. I was really sad. Okay. Because my sister Tracy had just passed, so I, my heart was aching, and I thought, you know, I'm just sad because I lost my sister, yes, and I yes, thought yes. I'd be okay, you know, it had passed. But it was more than that, um, and I would not be here talking to you today if, if it wasn't for that moment, if I hadn't gone. <laughs> so I'm here today to hang out with you, but to also talk about kidney health. Yeah. Because... What would you tell folks? You know, you, sometimes you got to get comfortable with be, being uncomfortable. You know, you go to the doctors, go to your doctor appointment, kid, lu having lupus and lupus or lupus nephritis. We're women of color. Yes. Asian women were four times more likely to catch this. 
um, Native American women and Hispanic women, two times, three times likely to catch it. So go to the doctors. Go to, pee in the cup, get uncomfortable. Just pee in the cup. We know it's uncomfortable. We don't feel like taking all our clothes and hiding your underwear in your pocket. We don't feel like doing that. Yeah. But get comfortable being uncomfortable. Just go tinkle in the cup. Go get some blood work done. Get your body checked out. Check out your kidney health. Your kidney health is so important. It's a detox of your body. And had I not gone to the doctors that day, my kids would not have a mother. You Tony. know? So go. Kidney health is so important. The risk, we could be, it could be nothing. Don't be afraid to be afraid, because that's what you got guts for, right? That's right. So, very important. You got everything to gain and nothing to lose. Yeah. And we are so glad. We yes. are so glad that you took your health, you took charge yes. of your health, and you yes. went and got tested. Got How are you doing now? Well, today's a good day, because I'm hanging out with you guys. <laughs> and with you. Yeah. Good days and bad days having lupus. Yeah. You know, there's risk in having, to, having this disease, having lupus. Um, I always tell people, it, I feel like I got the flu every day when I get achy and stuff. But like mm -hmm. I said, I have SLE lupus, so it could affect any organ in my body. But today's a great day, and I'm excited about it. And I want to educate people about yeah. their kidney health. So here we go. Let's talk about the Get Uncomfortable campaign, www.getuncomfortable.com. I'm very textile. I like to get on that computer there and just type it. So Get Uncomfortable is the best way for you to remember. That's a good way to remember it, right? I'm uncomfortable. Let's get comfortable being uncomfortable. And Tony Braxton, we love you so much. <laughs> thank you. We, I want to say thank, thank you. you for being of here. Course. I want you to come back, and I'm going to make you smile. We're going to karaoke. We're going yes. to we gonna, we gonna get Nick <laughs> all over again, girl, me right. and you. That's what we're going to do. For more info on the Get Uncomfortable Lupus Awareness Campaign, yes. go to SherryShowTV.com. Mm -hmm.